Yo, what's up, podcast people? Overtime Podcast, episode 18. Back at it again with another podcast this week. We got some plenty of topics to talk about. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is how disappointing things have been for the Washington Wizards. <laughs> and specifically uh, for individuals like Russell Westbrook and how Bradley Beal ha- has been misutilized or... Uh, just free Bradley Beal, man. Just free him, bro. That's that's what we gotta say. So, what are, what are y'all uh, thoughts on like the Wizards so far and like Bradley Beal? Uh, let me let me uh start it off. Um, I know people are probably expecting me to just shit on Russell Westbrook and blame him for all their problems, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, Yo, I knew he was gonna say that shit, bro. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Wait, I don't. I was, <laughs> Russell yeah, Westbrook. Russ's fault, bro. Russell Westbrook. When, when they made this trade, <laughs> okay, let me be honest, yo. It's not. It's not all on Russ. It's not all on Russ, and it's easy to just blame it on Russ, you know, because yeah. because he sucks. But in all reality, like the team is just like they're just a bad defensive team. Like they're a top five offense, I believe, in every metric, if not top ten. And like they're and a lot of that, obviously, due to Beal just playing crazy and out of his mind but at the end of the day like we know defense wins championships and we can feel bad for Beal now but like Beal signed an extension he they were a bad defensive team when he signed that extension Wall was already with the torn Achilles when he signed that extension and you can have faith in your organization to do better but his situation wasn't much better when he signed that extension. It actually, was probably worse because they didn't even trade for Russ Don't. yet. You know, so as far as I'm concerned, like you can say free Bradley Beal, but considering he signed that extension and he's also a part of the problem with how bad he is on defense, you know, I'm mm-hmm. just saying, like it's it's not like he's innocent in his situation. That's that's really what I'm trying to say. Not saying that he's not balling. And that he doesn't deserve to be traded. But, you know, he put Yo. himself in a position to where okay. right now, you know, it I, just doesn't look good. I, and I also, just... their, fourth, their fourth quarter is like, even even with the defense, their fourth quarter offense is just so bad. Hey, I just hey, hey bro, you, you want to talk about it? You want to talk about it, right? Because as much Russ as I give blame, as much a blame as I give Russ, right? Russ has not been particularly himself, you know? And I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna cut him some slack. You know what I mean? He is coming off of an injury. You know, I'm I'm gonna cut him some slack. But his injury is not the reason why he's throwing all them turnovers yeah, or whatever, right? Slack, but slack, yeah, slack like, can only go so far, bro. Yeah, like that's what I mean. I'm I'm, I'm gonna cut him some slack, but it's not that much, right? But Beal, bro, Beal, I don't think he can be a number one option on the championship team. He can score the rock, but. This year he's not been good in the fourth quarters, which no one is talking about. That could be due to him just that. That could be due to he him might just, just be gassing out. out yeah, he might just yeah. be burning out, which it it does make sense since he's been like pretty much the only one putting up offensive production on the team, right? Um, but still, like, it, I, I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure if he can do that. You know what I mean? I, I haven't seen it. Yet. I don't have enough proof. So, and but that entire team. All the makeup. I had so much high hopes for it, bro. But what? defense is important, and I and I failed to recognize that. And plus, they're dealing with a lot of injuries, COVID. You know, like they're not gonna they're, make they're it right just now. now. They're just now getting their starting five back, so hopefully yeah, they I, can swing together. I, I this, just, this is a two game win streak, bro. I oh. just I just find it hilarious, right? As of right now, or as of recording, they're getting blown out <laughs> and like and it's only bro. <laughs> Joe Harris is having shooting practice <laughs> on these niggas, bro. Literally, Kate, yo, Katie had Westbrook on him, bro. He was like, bro, Joe is wide every, uh, bro, Joe Harris is wide. Every it's 19 day, to bro. 5 right now, and we're not even five minutes in. <laughs> bro, Robin yeah, Lopez. And I'm pretty sure Joe Harris has, like, off the points, bro. Dude. But, like, Joe, Joe Harris I mean, is that's what happens. That's what happens when you have Russell Westbrook on your team. He always pisses off the yeah, let's, co-star. Let, that's let's, what happens. Let's, let's, let's talk about what? this. Let's talk about this, right? He pissed Cause... off Kevin Durant. He pissed off Paul George. Nice bro, okay, 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 okay. Uh, you bro, know what? Stop. I think it's time for me to leave this Discord. No, no, no. <laughs> let's, 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 cause let's go, thinks, let's go, man. let's go back to this trade that we were talking about two or three months ago, right? 
Remember how we all, everyone was saying they all, the Wizards, they won. The, besides Rockets fans, obviously. <laughs> uh, they were like, oh, the Wizards finessed uh, the Rockets, man. They did such a good job. Russell Westbrook is a generational talent. John Wall, he's probably not ever going to be the same ever again. Okay, chill out. We didn't say generational talent. We didn't say generational talent. Whatever, 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 right? You get what I you get what I mean. You get what you get what I mean. That didn't make sense, bro. The best ability. And also, at the time of the trade, Westbrook didn't get injured. None of that. Like, come on. No, no, no. Because because I was saying this before. I'm not. This is not hindsight for me. Maybe hindsight for y'all, but this is this was not hindsight for me because I was saying this before. For them to be the this tr- bad? No, 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 no. I didn't. Okay, let me tell you something. I did not expect them to be this bad. The Wizards. No, I. I no one expected that. No one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I said though. This is what I said. I said, oh, it's possible that the Rockets won this trade, and I think they did. I think they did. Uh, you know, the Rockets getting rid of. I mean. Let's be honest. Uh, Westbrook and John Wall's contracts, in terms of like having the worst contracts, it's not that far off. And, and like, as of right now, John Wall hasn't played better than Russell Westbrook, and he's been more available. Well, actually, no, he's not been more available. Bro, but like, John John Wall deadass might make an All Defensive Team this year. Okay, I don't know about that. Very but Yeah, I'm being serious. I, I don't know. Bro. I, I, don't I don't know think. And I think it's more the team defense. I don't know. No, 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 bro. John, the, the team defense is great. John Wall has been amazing on defense. Like literally amazing. You yeah, like you watch the game. And, and I, I, shout out, bro. shout out to Christian Wood too, because like in the beginning of the AD. season, in the beginning of the season, he was getting torched by a lot of like every everybody was torching him, but like. As of late, and it might be the uh, the Harden trade, but as of late, he's been really stepping up on defense. Like he's been a really good weak side shot blocker. He's been doing this thing like off of the pick and rolls. He's still not like where he should be, but he's gotten this way is, way better. So shout this out is to what him. this is what centers look like when they're when all their point of the fact attack defenders are really good. See yeah, what I mean? Like been a they look. Help. Like like all of their point of attack defenders are really good, and since he since he doesn't have to come up all the time just to help, because those dudes all can fight over screens by themselves, right? Basically, he's he's worrying about his own man. You know what I mean? Mainly worrying about his own man, or like if somebody backed over or something like that. But like he doesn't really have to worry about much. And you simplifying the game for a center like that makes them dominant on defense. He's been good though. That my, my... that Rockets team. My point I just is find though, it funny that every every team that trades for Russell Westbrook. Yeah, no. My just, point is that like, yeah, something like what Musta just said. Yo, can, can we just not make the to- the the topic is free, badly real. But why so why is it that why is that a topic? Why is that a topic? Why is that crazy? Why is that a topic though? Why do you think <laughs> the you can't, you can't that like, team sucks? Part of that, bro. The Russ, team Russ sucks. The I thought it, I thought this. I swear to God, I have not heard I have not heard Robin Lopez's name. I have not heard Rui Hachimura's name. I have not heard Davis Berton's name not one time. This whole yeah, yo, Davis, yo, yo, let, <laughs> let me talk about Davis real quick, bro. Davis, bro, he's been bad. Like, like for a dude that was that got paid all that money, right? Yeah, he's been he really got paid bad. a lot of money. So here's right? here's the thing: to I, come into to come into training camp, they deserve blame, no question. Like, they, like, like, but he, yo, he's a dude. He's a dude. He was supposed to be a large part of the operation. Yeah, I, he, I was, believe he, he was. He deserved a lot of blame because. He was supposed to be a large part. I, for coming in here after getting a bag, right? Huge and Just bag. coming in here un, out of shape, that kind of – that that's really bad, but man. That's fair, a terrible look on you, bro. Short, so, you know. Yo, no, no. He's off. Bro, well, he hasn't played basketball bro, in like seven months, bro. <laughs> I know, right? He didn't even go true. to the bubble. True. Come on, My, bro. Oh, he yeah, didn't? Get, that, get that out of here, yo. What was I going to say? He, oh, the, the oh yeah, he, oh, bubble, yeah. But he, he was not in the bubble because he, he didn't he didn't want to affect his. Uh, I I just team. I find it funny that like before the season started, like we were talking about. Oh, Russ has this all. T- the reason why I'm focused on Westbrook the most out of all these players because one obviously he has the highest expectations. He was some to be considered the best player on the team before the season started. Um, I was yeah, one of them by the way. Dead. Uh, and I was told that oh Westbrook has this all time spacing. He has, and he's one of the greatest floor raisers of all time, right? He can yeah. lead a team to a playoffs by himself. I was told he could lead to a, t- a team in the playoffs in the East by himself. That and, is uh, true. That, we did say that. But let's also forget that he's not playing like himself, which is true. 
So if you, I think I, mean, I think Westbrook, uh, Westbrook, that I know, I think Westbrook, yeah. I think Westbrook will get better. He doesn't even attack the rim. No, he doesn't, about bro. The Westbrook, I, I think no. no. I think what? Yeah, bro. I he swear thinks. I haven't seen Westbrook attack. I, I, the rim, I think bro. Westbrook. Okay, so this is not the same Westbrook. I think Westbrook will I get think this better. Looks like 2019 Westbrook. I think Westbrook will get better, but it's not gonna be significant. Like it's it's not gonna be like this is. I, yeah, I think we'll get to the point where he he won't be shooting thirty percent from the field. Yeah, no, but, I don't think that's gonna happen. But he'll be I, shooting I like think I, gonna... I think he's gonna be shooting for low forties, like forty one, forty two. That's what I believe. Yeah, thirty five percent from three. Oh, I don't know about that, but yeah, that that's not happening, bro. Bro, bro we at bro, all right, bro, we at thirty three percent right now, bro. I'm I'm gonna put a cool yeah, that shit's gonna go down. You know that, right? I was like, oh, oh, okay, okay, guys, give me some. Bradley Beal trade destinations because, in my opinion, honestly, the Oklahoma. Like I, I said this at the beginning of this. I, I, I said this at the beginning of the season as well. I believe the Wizards should just blow it up. Like, cause if the getting Westbrook, it was nice, but that is a that is not a good long term. You know what I mean? So, like, I believe, I believe they should just blow it up. I mean, look, um, I'll say this. I'll say this because, like, here's the thing, bro. It's easy for us to say they should bl- just blow it up and trade Beal, but when you're a, when you're a team like Washington and you're not going to be attracting a whole bunch of free agents, you're not. I say hold on small. to him until he requests you're, a trade, yeah, bro. Yeah, I was going to say you're not. No, also, you're I, I kind of disagree. I disagree. But but, but here's it's the thing: DC, you're, also, you're not getting free agents like that. It's not like you're an attractive destination. So like, the best option is to just. I hate to say it, but so to, the best option to is to be mediocre. No, no, no. I was gonna say if you have to move, move out the yo guys, and, uh... can we take a timeout? Timeout. I need it's it's emergency. Sorry, just take it in the timeout. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, go. The thing is, though, like when when you look at the Wizards, as easy as it is for us to say they should trade Beal and just blow it up, which I think they should do. You could also look at the other side of it. And, and see, see how it makes sense for them to hold on to him because, like, it's not like you're a big market. You're not L.A. or New York. You're not attracting major free agents. And, you know, you have pieces on your team that you could move to fix some of those defensive weaknesses. So, and, and like, at the end of the day, you know organizations that are outside of L.A. or New York, they're just trying to make money, you know, because they know a championship is so unlikely. Unless they land somebody huge in the draft, yes. so so like I'm just saying like I understand why they don't want to trade him. You know he's the star that they have, and who knows when another star is going to come to Washington, albeit but the, the draft. And Danny Abdia, you get trade. I mean, hey, if Danny's that guy, then sure. But I mean, you can move Danny. And, I mean, I wouldn't move Danny. I think Bertans and uh, Rui Hachimura are better players to move but bro denny has the most value saying. out of all of them bro no one is gonna waste their money on those two especially so are you telling me that people don't want to stretch for berton is making 80 million dollars well then you throw a pick okay, in bro every team can every player can be traded bro we see but like for, for yeah, positive value you know, al horford got for, traded bro. dude he got traded he got a his contract isn't as bad as everybody thinks it is one Give bro, actually, some. they'd have to match contracts, so I guess it had to be like Boyan. But I don't, I don't, I don't think that makes him better. Never in a million years, like, and and, and this this is why I say they should blow it up. I understand you, you know what I mean. But at the same time, bro, like, <laughs> shit, bro, like, where where is this gonna get him? Because it's obviously not gonna lead him to the playoffs, bro. Like, if it's not gonna I mean, lead him to might. the playoffs, I mean, what's the point? And plus, like. Yeah, you're right about the small market things, right? I don't think DC is like in like in like fucking Memphis when it comes to getting free agents. You know, like if their situation looks nice, I'm I'm pretty sure a team will most likely go there. But all right, but look, check me out, bro. When you look at it, like there's no way you can go through the season without making a move, especially because I don't think Bill gets hit this season at least. So there's no way you're just gonna you're just gonna say fuck it, we're gonna rock it out with Bill Westbrook and these guys for the rest of the year. That shows Bill that you don't care. So, like, and that's not a good look for the future. Gonna trade whether, one of Danny or Rui get, just to be out the playoffs, yo. It shows that you're trying, bro. That's the point. Just to be out the playoffs? You're gonna sacrifice yourself just to be out the playoffs? 
Yes, because that's just I mean, you have to do what your superstar wants. It's, it's, it's not bro. like you're giving up Denny though. Like if you're giving up Denny, I understand why. No, you if you're giving up Rui or Denny, you should keep both of them. Rui is both. not that valuable, bro. Rui can Rui can be good. Well, he's a but... young wing with potential. So of course, that's why potential. you move him. That's why oh, you, you see, him. bro. That ain't that ain't the way, to, bro. You have to look at what's available, bro. Like if you can get a good defensive wing, bro. And, and, and this was this was my fear, bro. This is my fear from the jump because. Now I hear people, and I knew this was gonna happen, bro. Now I hear people saying, "Oh, oh, I want to trade the young guys." I yeah, want to trade I the young guys. I was saying this before them. the season started, bro. I was as soon as they got Westbrook. And I did. Bro, I did. If you go back, if you go what back to the first, if you go back to the episode where we talked about Wall and Russ, yeah, bro, we I literally said, that. said I go all in, bro. I literally said you might as well try to get a third piece to pair with them, and if you have to low, trade, low, they're low, going to be a fringe yeah. play, yo. I don't think y'all understand how the East is getting better and like how much that would. I don't think that would be that like great for the team. I really don't. I mean, I think they should go down the the road of trading Beal, but I can understand why the organization would just try to, you know, keep. Bro, stars get tired of you're gonna trade all your assets, and stars get tired of being middle of the pack, yo. I mean, you don't gotta trade Beal. He's still under contract for two more years. Trade, and, and that's that's is the part. Beal gonna? That's, is, let's be honest. Is Beal getting? Is he Beal signing an extension? Like, let's be honest, bro. Beal already I, signed I an extension. What's what's the extension? I don't remember this. Yes, it, 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 it was like a three year. It was like a three year, one hundred and eleven million dollar extension. So, let me see this. But um, like he has, I, he has I, two more years after this year. I don't. I, I like it. Is it, that is that with the player option? Like that literally yeah, does yeah, not. So. Nah, no, it's not a player. It's no player option. I don't think. Let me look at. Let me go to basketball reference. I'm pretty sure really Bradley Beal has two more years, like guaranteed. Exactly, bro. So like, you're in no rush to do this. Yes, you are, bro. Because that's it. He's so at this the season and next season. He's at the peak the of his value. He Bradley Beal's value is not gonna be like. It's not gonna he's get better than this. Peak. This is this is the peak value. I would. Yes. I, this is why. Bro, bro, that's why I'm saying trade him now. You're talk, bro, stop it, bro, stop it. How? How? Look at look at what you bro, stop it. Whether okay, whether you're not gonna get the max amount, you're still going to get a lot for Bradley Beal because teams are going to be desperate. When teams are desperate for players, they're going to overpay. It's facts. Okay, well, well, let's actually let's shift it real quick. Who do y'all think should trade for Beal? Um, honestly, I really haven't thought of that to be honest. I I I, bro, I, I got a couple they, teams in mind. Not gonna that, lie, like. I know Jason the, was gonna get mad. The Sixers but try and get in there. No you're doubt. the Bucks. No, I'm it, it, I, no. I'm a, I'm, it, it, and I'm gonna give you a reason why that trade can happen. Simply due to the fact that we have no picks, not anymore. No. I mean, would you do a swap? Uh, a swap? What do you swap? mean? Oh, I, I was thinking. That, I was thinking Drew Holiday. I, I don't think. Of, I don't. Um, no, you gotta keep Drew. You gotta keep Drew, but. Uh, well, I, I don't. Mean, I don't. No, th- I, think, I don't think. I don't think getting getting think Beal is to gonna fix true. anything. So Beal can't be a closer for them. I don't care about it. it's, the, the offense. Is right now the offense is not the problem. I mean, obviously Bud got. You do need a closer, but but but, but the but, biggest problem yeah, but, with the okay, Bucks okay, is the do defense. Do you agree that Beal Beal would be a better closer? Chris I'm not even sure play. about that because I haven't even stop seen Stop it, other. bro. Come yeah, on, man. Seriously, God. seriously, seriously. Dude, because stop being a fan, Listen, man. listen, 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 listen. Have we seen Beal able to close, show an ability to close games yeah. anywhere in his career? When? Yes. Remember when they faced the Celtics? He was going back and forth with IT. And they lost. Because of Wall. I've, I've seen Chris Middleton go back and forth with niggas in the fourth quarter. Who? Okay. And versus the Celtics. Bro. Jason, T- a rookie Jason Tatum. Hey, bro, he went back and forth, and he was showing up. Man, get out of here, bro. It's get true. Out of I like, and, and plus, I don't. Like Beal I said, went back and forth. He, with the MVP he is. He, he is. He is not fixing any Wait, problems. Wait, who did you say? Wait, hold on. Who did you say? Look, go back. Okay, Bradley okay. going. I know you don't like him. I know you don't like him, uh, uh, Darius. But chill out, bro. He was. He's a defensive team. liability. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Don't, don't, don't shit on it, because bro, I, nah, I get the fuck out of here him. with that shit, bro. <laughs> but um, <laughs> get the I feel fuck, bad from bro. I feel get bad. the okay, fuck bro, out of here, bro. Is over, bro. Get the he fuck knows, out of here. He knows, bro. bro. He, yo, he tweeted, and I, I felt like my heart, bro, literally. The Sixers, yo, Chris, Chris Middleton. Door. If Chris Middleton went up against him, it's a fifty piece, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I, yo, but honestly, yo, like, 
he said, you know, like I tried and it's like it's over, bro. I was it like, was sad oh to man, read that that's tweet. It that's was that sad. that was real sad, you know. But um, at least he knows, bro. At least he knows. Wait, least he knows. There you, bro. Wait, can you let it go? We no, get it, bro. Let it think go, Cleveland, bro. bro. No, bro. But come on, bro. Let it go. What a okay, shit. Okay, I'll say this. I'll say this. I'm confused. Wait, what tweet? Uh, so it tweeted basically. He was like. Somebody was like, he was on the IT bandwagon, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, bro, I tried over and over again to make to go back into the league, basically. And he said, it just ain't happening, bro. It's over. And I was like, yo, like, that that sucks. Yeah, but isn't he, isn't he playing in the G League to, like, try and prove something? I don't even know, bro. I'll, I'll give him this. I'll give him this. I think Bradley Bill does have a shot with the Oklahoma City Blue. <laughs> I got said Bradley Bill. You mean Isaiah Thomas? Isaiah Thomas. I'm fine. I'm, I'm not fan. Sorry. Isaiah oh, Thomas. I, I, yo, that yo, was I, mad disrespectful. Bro. I, was about to say, that, that <laughs> I know, crazy. right? Yo, you'd be dropping sixty. I'm so. Day, I'm so far. Okay. Yeah. No. I meant to say Isaiah Thomas. But they still sorry, be saying Bradley free Bill. I, didn't mean to say that. I didn't say that. I didn't mean to say that. Isaiah nah. But Thomas. what's it called? Um, I was gonna say this, right? Um, what about him to the Mavericks? Ooh. I think I I th- that's something to look at. Who would they give up though? Porzingis. The Mavs have to give up Porzingis. Oh, I don't know about that. Now, now, yeah, now, you, you, you hear me, me out. Hear me, me out. Let me so, look so at the, the Mav- real quick. The Mavericks are. Let's say this, right? What about the Nuggets? Mavericks, they're like Porzingis can't be his second no, the guy. Nugget, the Nuggets. I don't know. No, about the no. Why not? No, no. Why not? He's not gonna fix the problem uh, unless, unless because he's better out, than Jamal Murray. You gotta trade I, Jamal Murray. I, yeah, I'm fine with trading Jamal, but I don't want to trade MPJ. Like Jamal, no, have, what, what, what other picks? It would take both. It would take no. Both you don't not take it both, dude. No, you don't take both. You take Jamal. The hell, fuck. Take that. one. Jamal and picks, bro. Dude, Beal is not worth two young players. What the fuck? No, right? What the yeah, bro? I, I I was gonna I'm say good. how many picks? How many picks do you like? How many picks is the Nuggets have two, two, three. Yeah, we, 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 we got a lot. I'm talking about, I mean, okay, I'm talking about me first, not this. seconds. Keep in mind. If, if they say, if they say, we want Jamal and Bull Bull, that's it. Would you give it up? Yes. Yeah. Why not? Bull Bull is like okay. So Bull Bull don't even play. That. Yeah. That's, that's my point. You don't have to give up picks even in that kind Although, of. Although I feel like I'm not gonna I lie. Bull like Bull does have a hell of potential, bro. bro the Wizards, the Wizards would ask for more though. They're not. They're not just obviously. Yeah, but Bull. I was. I was gonna say the Pelicans, but. I mean, the Pelicans have hella picks, so. You give them some of them Lakers, them fakers picks, you know what I mean? You'd okay, have y'all thought about uh, Miami? Because Miami wants to be able to, if I'm not mistaken. Man. Bro, Fuck Miami, yo, if, bro, yo, if if I'm the if I'm the Wizards, bro, and I see Tyler Hero on my screen, bro, when it comes to the, <laughs> I immediately say no. Bro, KZ Akpala has more value. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Uh, you got to chill. You got. I would. I would consider. The, I like the Nuggets one. I would love to see Bradley Beal on the Nuggets. That's just me. Yeah, and I see him with Jokic as a cutter and shit. Yeah, he's already done it before. But and I think yo, he's more Boston, consistent. Boston, bro. Be like, yo, but, we'll give you Kemba and all of our picks. <laughs> I don't want to see. Bradley they'd be like, six. yo, they, yo, if, if they're doing that, bro, that would be so stupid for the Wizards, bro. Like, so retarded, to bro. Take, to take Kemba, yeah, that'd be a waste. That would that just, then, just then to take back Kimba's contract. No, let me let me mention one more team. What about? It's gonna sound ugly at first, but just hear me out. What about the Magic? You say the Suns? Oh, the Magic? The who? The Magic. Bro, I mean, magic no, that that's like... a that's a good idea. That's a good idea because the Magic have if needed Don a Isaac, shot creator on that wing, team. bro. They've needed a shot creator on the perimeter, bro. They be, have, yo, they they, they Morning, said they would Evan trade Morning, Bill to Morning, where he wants to go, bro. Yeah, but, but I mean, okay, true. true. Orlando's not bad, bro. Who, 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 Orlando, yeah, beautiful. Orlando, Orlando, beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Cause oh, I, was, yeah. I, I, I raised there, but still, come they, on, bro. They're not. They're not. They're not good enough, though. If it's I think it's a, to think go, it's a play in team at least. Come on. Boston's gonna be an option, bro. Bro, he said See, I want to go from one there, mediocre team a, to another. That's a top five team. Top, not top five. Top six to seven. Okay, yeah, they'd be a seven to eight seed. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, at least a play on scene. Yeah, like, you gotta remember the other teams. Maybe. I was gonna say top six, but I don't even think that, that that's guarantee. Yeah, no. But their defense, the defense is legit though, and Isaac will be coming back that even get better, you know. So maybe they could get a at best six seed, maybe fifth, maybe. Yo, fifth, fifth I'm pushing. not gonna lie to you, bro. Their defense, like if Isaac and Aaron Gordon and well, one of them will have to go in the deal. Let's be honest now. I don't think so. 
don't think so. Uh, unless you're like, bro, no, I want to play Markel. Evan Fournier, look, like, Evan Fournier, Fultz. Um, Fultz bro, Fultz Anthony. just, just bro, injured Fultz himself. Fultz is not Six. that good, bro. <laughs> okay, he's nice, but, what? like, he's still. Nice? He's Did not that good. Did you him play this year? Bro, he, he, he... Fultz, the thing about Fultz, he can have moments on offense where he looks, like, all right, but the thing about Fultz is that he's in like, because I remember I heard somebody uh, in locker room say this. Shout out to I can't remember, but shout out to him. He was like Fultz is in this thing called per- point guard purgatory, right? He's uh-huh. not really he's not really consistent enough or good enough offensively that he can be a starter on a legitimate team, but he's not really offensively gifted to be a bench player. You know, like like. Fultz is like his offense. He can't space the floor. He's not really knocking down mid range jumpers. He can attack the rim, sort of. He, he can't knock down. He was struggling this what about year. The but... And like his jump shot is just, it's still really bad. You know, like, so I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is about. And it's not like he's some extreme playmaker. He's he's a decent passer, but he's not like some some gifted playmaker. Okay, so, okay. So you said. I, I don't know. You said, you said, what about the Grizzlies? Yeah, Grizzlies well, or no, my, my top it. pick would be oh, Philly. Okay. No cap. I, okay, okay. But the Markel Fultz thing, I'm... Hey, would you give up Ben Simmons for, for Bradley yes. Beal? No, I, no, I, I actually... Know. I, was, I, was thinking, I was thinking of keeping Simmons and getting Beal somehow. What? How are you going to do <laughs> that? Oh, that's impossible. Yo, <laughs> that's I impossible. swear, bro. That's impossible, bro. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas will hold on to Ben Simmons until God tells you. No, 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 no. I'll, 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 I'll say this. Tried, just like at first. No, I'm saying if you're Philly, you're obviously going to try to keep Simmons. But if you can't, then that's different. Yo, I'll say this. I'll say this, bro. Ben, yo, like their defense, I'd be so scared for the Philly's defense if Ben left. Because Ben, as much as I get on him, bro, for his offensive struggles, Jesus Christ, um, Big his defense is elite. Back, like, his defense is so good, bro. All I got to say is, before we move on to the next topic, um, Beal, tough situation. He put himself in that situation, unfortunately. And now, you know, it's up to oh, the organization man. to see what they can do. I'm not mad at him for wanting to yeah, stay. That's the next no, topic. Gonna... Hey, if, if, if everyone was being pussy and just Yo. want to leave all the time, bro, then... Are the are the Jazz legit? That's our next topic. Are the Jazz what? legit? Fuck no. Don't care, bro. I yo. Sounds like a hater. Hey, hey <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Bino, you said fuck no. So let Bino go first on why he doesn't think they legit. And then Jace move. It he, sound like he he mad. He's mad because we still had D-Mitch over D-Book. In our shooting, oh, no, 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 that wasn't even it. No, that wasn't even it because Levina, I was let us know guys. what's because up. Remember, in the beginning, look, earlier this year, I said D book over D Mitch because D Mitch wasn't playing well, but now D Mitch is playing way better, so I give him over book because book's not playing well. But just in terms, like, when you think of legit, like, are you beating the Clippers or maybe not even the Clippers? Are you beating the Lakers? No, so there's no point in saying they're too legit, bro. Fuck it. <laughs> My answer is no, it's that simple. Can, 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 I, can I say something? Go ahead, bro. Um. I'll say this, right? Yeah, their their God. overall team and what they what they do, like I I I like this Jazz team. You know what I mean? They look real nice. They're shooting more threes. Um, Jordan Clarkson is a flamethrower, right? And like they they are a nice team, right? Like I'm not gonna lie, I don't think they are up there. I believe, and and and. Like, like, what I believe they're missing, they're one piece away. I think they're one piece away. And that's a legit star wing player. That's what they need. Like, that's exactly what they need. Because they don't have a dude that can defend the LeBron Jameses of the league, the Kawhis of the league, the Paul Jones. Like, Royce O'Neal. Royce O'Neal is nice. Great 3 great player. player. Great 3 player. Like, 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 he's a great player. But I don't think he has the size to contend with those guys on a consistent basis, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like he's only 6'4". And, and he's, yeah, he, he's great. But he, I don't think he's, I don't think they have the size at the Wait, Who are you position. talking about? Who's 6'4"? Who'd you say? Worse O'Neal. Worse O'Neal. The, yeah, the Kale- yeah. He's from Colleen, by the way. Uh, oh, bro. Shout out Texas. But uh, what's it called? He's he's nice, right? I, um. I just wish they they all they need is a wing because if they were to go against the Lakers, I don't 
I think Gobert can hold his own against AD. I think he can actually hold his own against AD compared to what most people think. Like Gobert is Gobert is good. You know what I mean? Like he he he's a nice big man. People need to give him his credit because he's playing real well right now. And when he plays well, nobody talks about it, bro. Nobody ever does. But like uh, they're not a contender. I do agree with you, but they're doing some nice things right now. Um, I personally think they're not contenders because at the end of the day, the playoffs, it's about star talent, and they only really have one star, um, and that's Donovan Mitchell. Um, Gobert's a great defender. He's actually been better offensively than my expectations this year, even though you know Twitter will tell you that he, he, he's trash because of a couple of missed layups that he has, which – you know they're pretty bad. I'm not well, he lie. did. He did just get murked by a 450 ball. Just saying. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, Jokic just killed him. But Jokic, bro, Jokic the kills only everybody. Yo, yo the only person everybody. Jokic doesn't kill on a consistent basis is DeAndre Ayton and like Dwight Howard. But besides them two, but bro, even Dwight Howard in the playoffs, Jokic struggled a little bit. But he, he struggled. He shot, he, but he bro. shot like 50 percent on Dwight Howard, bro. Dwight, Dwight yeah, it, compared to other ones who he shoots 60 yeah, yeah. percent on. Yeah, I was gonna say it's only because. Uh, the physicality. Dwight can bring a lot. Of, he brought a lot of physicality on him, and he, and he's he low key fouling. and he's so good at getting away with fouls, bro. He be yeah. Dope. I'm about to say he was low key fouling him, bro. <laughs> Dwight be I picking think... niggas up with two hands and pulling and moving them, yo. Dwight, bro. This is a side note, but man, Dwight is the definition of falling off, bro. Oh my goodness, <laughs> his defense is so far falling off. But that's besides the point. Regardless, I just don't. I think they have a legit second star on the offensive side of the ball. You know, Bogdanovich is not that guy. Clarkson has had a great year, and he's my sixth man of the year so far. But, you know, he's not that and guy. That was my pick. Just saying. Uh, yeah, shout out to you for that. But regardless, you know, I, I just don't see it. Because playoffs, you need star talent, and they only have one legitimate star, in my opinion. Yeah, but that, that one legitimate star would give you damn near 40 points a game. So, I mean, that's a fact. That's a fact. But Darius, what you think? Uh, I kind of it's a unanimous. Like I agree. Like it's, I think it's just a. I swear the Jazz always have a hot stretch for like these past three seasons. Like, have y'all noticed that? Like they just go on a I think ten game. Usually streak they've released. started off terribly and then they played well near the end. You remember? You remember in twenty eighteen? Well. You remember twenty eighteen or it was like twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen? Tw- Both the years. They always had a hot stretch. You were. Right. It was like a fifteen game winning streak or something. I don't remember, but. They went crazy. And, and it's crazy because, like, their seasons go almost the exact same. Like, D. Mitch starts off slow. They go on, like, some cold streak or, excuse me, some hot streak. The playoffs comes, and they go out in, like, some disappointing fashion. Uh, let, disappointing. Me, let me uh, let me, uh, say this. Like, I just don't think uh, D. Mitch and Rugo Bear is, like, enough for them to, like, yeah. pull it off against, like, teams like the Lakers, the Clippers. Um I think the clip is not impossible. Let me let me let me let me shout out somebody who's been like not been getting that much credit. His name is Mike Conley. He has improved mm-hmm. a lot um previously from his last season. Like I I thought he was gonna be I thought he was washed last season. Like I thought it was just over for him, but no, nah, it, it looked he like came a lot to the playoffs. It, it, uh, well, Hall of no, Fame like, layup smoker. You remember like beginning or middle of the season, like how he just oh, yeah, really yeah, bad. He was bad. Yeah, he was really bad. Yeah. <laughs> And it's crazy because he was really supposed to be their second guy with D. Mitch, but mm-hmm. it's unfortunate, you know, he's just falling off like that. But it is what it is. If they had but got him like two years good, ago, though. who knows? Right now, I mean, he, he's been hooping, but it's like I still don't think he's enough, you know. Like with D. Oh yeah, obviously, but they yeah. just need a star two way wing. That's the reason that's why they're, they're missing. a top two seed in the West right now. But do you think? Do y'all think they can make a move for somebody? Oh yeah, definitely. Just... The move they can make is probably going to be like oh, they're going to end up trading Clarkson. Their, Clarkson. They're probably yeah. going to end up trading all either all their depth or uh, the the rest of their rotation plays. And I'm like, but, I, but who would you get? Who's on the I, market? I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. I really don't know. Actually, yeah. like if it was like, ever they don't, possible, they don't need Bradley Kawhi, Beal. They already have Dimitri. So like Paul George would help their situation so much. But, that's you know, he's exactly. He's, he's literally the per like Paul George or Kawhi. Like if. if 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 yeah, the Clippers well, were to go on to some though. disappointing but, uh, yeah, that's fashion, happen, yeah. that's not happening. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah. Now that PG signed that signed that extension, yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, and Kawhi, you know, he has an uh, opt out, so 
Yeah, it's like, but like they they just one piece away, and that's that wing position because that wing position for me, like Royce O'Neal can play and can start whatever. I'm fine with that, right? They just need more size, especially to come contend in this West, bro. Like guys like AD guys. Hey, would you like, make a? Would you and okay this? Okay, let me think about this. Would you make a trade? Um, and I don't know what the contract situations were, but let's. I guess it's just a hypothetical. Would would you trade for Siakam if you're Utah? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, bro. Is he available? I, don't I think, mean, I don't think, think the I don't think, think the Raptors are trading him. I don't think the Raptors. Are trading him. Well, I mean, you know don't don't, don't tell me paid, what you bro? think it is. Don't you gonna be like Siakam for Gobert, isn't it? Oh well, no, no. Heck, okay. You can't do that, no, bro. I was thinking like Jesus Siakam Christ. for like Boyan. That's not like even Boyan, possible. Clarkson and picks. Do they like, have any young but, guys? Yeah, but like the thing is, the Raptors would never do that, though. <laughs> like, why would they do that? What I mean, the thing is, like Siakam is not like he's kind of overpaid now because didn't he get the max extension? He did. Yeah. Yeah. So, wouldn't you just move him now? I think it's just too early to make a decision. Yeah. Like that. I mean, I guess, but you know, he's still you very him, you young. Him before... Or not young. He's like twenty six, actually, to be honest. But but you trade a year early before it's a year too late. That's how you should look at it. And his value is not going up. It's only getting worse. <laughs> you know it could get better. Because he's getting better at other facets. Right now, his scoring is struggling. But Siakam is getting better with other facets of his game. You know what I mean? I mean he has his defense was always solid. He's always been a solid defender. And then, also- and not only that, like, his ball handling, you know, it's not. I don't think that's yo, gonna he be better. spinning, yo. <laughs> hey, bro, he, his ball handling is not getting any better. Hey, like, but he got you know? yo, he's a front rim, front rim, back rim demon. And and you know what y'all did when we did our top fifty? I literally told y'all, bro, Siakam should not be this high. We had this dude over. Bro, well, I didn't. Bro. Hey, bro, we ain't expecting yo, to fall bro. off like this, yo. Come on, bro, I did. I, bro, first of all, I don't think I had. I, I don't had think I had. I, I think I had some bonus score. above Siakam. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember, but dude, go back to our list. We yeah, had I know, I know. I think. I'm pretty sure we, yeah. Exactly. Had to Somebody, we had, higher, I know Jay Smooth was, was on his meat. I was on C. I was, I I was not, protecting I Siakam. I disagree because also Wordu, Wordu was defending, or was Wordu hating? I don't even remember. Wordu had a Obi Top in his top 50, bro. Like Obi Top in top 50 player in the NBA. And he also Dude, had another Obi player. Obi Top in is literally a bust. Oh no, he's gosh. not. Like, like I don't bus, get it. Like he's Another a bus, player he had in his top 50 was For- uh, a player we'll get into right now. Lonzo Ball. Who? Oh, bro. Oh, yo. Hey, Jace oh, move. I saw, I saw Jace move. You got bro, this. I am, you got I'm this, about bro. to isolate it's, on this position. So let me let me let me bring some context, and then you'll you'll get you'll get the, you'll get the ISO. I'll give I'll give you the pass. All right. Well, start, start the play. Start the play. All right. Okay. Sorry, I got you. I got you. So <laughs> Lonzo uh, and the New Orleans Pelicans uh, not really having a good season so far. Right now, they are seven eleven. They're the fourth. They're the second worst team in the West right now, and um, currently Lonzo is averaging twelve point five points per game. Uh, four rebounds per game, five assists per game, 1.4 steals per game, almost a block, well, rounded to a block, 2.3 turnovers per game, uh, with, uh, rounded to three fouls per game on 40% from the field, 32% from three, and 58% from the free throw line. And it just looks like it's the same as it was these previous seasons, like with last year and the, the Laker year, the second Laker year, like, so, and recently... Hey, he, hey. I don't mean to cut you off, but he played good last year. Can't do that. Hold on, hold on. No, he had, good, he, had he had a good. Stre- he had a good. He had a good stretch. He had a good stretch. He had a good stretch. He didn't play Y'all good. Are hoes, come on, man. I'm for real. Yeah, Whoa. no, no. Whoa. no. Once he got into the bubble, once he got into the bubble, my God. Uh, let me bubble let me let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay, let him finish. Okay, recently, him. recently, Lonzo Ball fans have been stating that the coach Stan Van Gunny has been misutilizing him. So, what are y'all thoughts on that? Go Bells, go ahead and do the ISO. <laughs> Bro, clear out, bro, clear out, bro. Right, right, right. I'm about space to get floor, this fucking floor, space floor. Bro, it, this dude... I'm going to get in the corner. Dude, I'm going to get in the corner. <laughs> bro, this dude's old, bro. I'm going I'm to try to stop shit on this nigga, bro. But this dude's old. Bro, he's been terrible this year. And and, and, and here's... I, I'm going to back off of... What's his name? I'm, I'm going to back off of Stan Van Gundy a bit. Because people are getting on him. And... I understand. I understand their point a bit. Like you know, it's, I understand their thought process. But here's the reason why they're not letting Lonzo Ball run the offense, right? This is his thought process. 
And I completely agree with it, right? Lonzo Ball, great transition playmaker. Good transition playmaker. Fine, it's fine with letting him run that, right? Um, then, uh, what's it called? And a half court? Not really, bro. Know why? It's because he's not a threat. He's not a threat to do anything but pass, right? If he's a guy like that, um, like, <laughs> honestly, what, what do you expect? You know what I mean? Like, how, how can you let him run your offense when he's a guy that nobody's going to care about? Everybody's going to ignore an offense, right? Like, it, 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 it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. You, you run a pick and roll with him, everybody's going to go under. They're going to let him shoot the three, right? So he's going to end up shooting anyways. He attacks the rim, right? If he attacks the rim, nobody – they're going to guard him one-on-one, and they're not going to send an extra man to help because – He's not inept at getting by his man, right? Um, they're, always, they're always playing for the pass, which most of the time he does end up passing, right? What difference is that going to make? What difference is that going to make letting him run the offense in those situations, right? And um, I'll get on them for this. Stan Van Gundy, the team should be a lot faster, a lot faster than they are right now, right? But at that the same time, true. like, 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 some games, some games, if you watch, bro, like some games, they do start off fast and then they start playing slow. And I don't know if that's the co- if I don't know if that's coaching, but that can also be the, on the players simply due to the fact that they're not pushing the ball and also they're not, simply not getting stops, which is a problem, right? And um, I don't think I don't think their backcourt can work together. I don't think their backcourt. Eric Bledsoe, he's shooting forty percent from three. But no one cares about him on the perimeter. They don't care about Lonzo on the perimeter. The offense is going to struggle just because nobody cares about them too. Literally, they, the reason why they hit seven threes last game was because they were left wide open. Nobody cared about them, bro. <laughs> Ignored on offense. And about Lonzo Ball, bro, I'm sorry, bro. He's a bust. It's, it's, it's time to say it, bro. Like, I'm sick and tired of you guys denying it. He's a bust. He, he's supposed to be a generational talent. He's not that. He's bro, not contributing. You say this, bro. Look, every what? time we talk about Lonzo on the pod, bro, we say that you say the same exact statement that you just said, and then we say the obviously he didn't live up to the hype, which makes him a bust because that's how it's determined, right? Just like how Wiggins mm-hmm. is a bust, that doesn't mean that he can't become a good NBA player. We say the same. So when people have hope for Lonzo. You're acting like they're still expecting him to become that generational talent because I don't they're think expecting him to be a starting point think... guard, and he's not a starting point well, guard. That's what he is, bro. He's yeah, yes, not. He is, no, no, he's yeah, he's not a starting point guard. He's not a starting point guard. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Lonzo shouldn't even play point anymore. I'm just gonna be real with you, bro. This dude, bro. This, that's. This, I mean, he's not the point now, bro. He's, he's a, a he's a wing, guard. bro. Let's just be honest. That dude is a wing. He's a spot up shooting guard, bro. He's a shooting guard. <laughs> You know what, Stan, 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 I'm not going to blame him for, for thinking about that because he saw Lonzo, he was like, this dude was a good catch-and-shoot three-point shooter, right? That was, hey, man, that was one here, of the man. only things that he was good at when he wasn't passing the ball, okay? Fine, right? Let's use him yeah, I think that. he shot like Let's... 38% on catch-and-shoots last year. Yeah, he, he, that, was, that was legit something he was good at. And they said, yo, let's use Zion's gravity. Use him as a playmaker a bit more. Use Ingram as a playmaker a bit more. Focus on those two's development and – try to use Alonzo in a different way, in a way that he would thrive even more, right? Okay, fine, right? Cool. Smart. I, I'm not going to shit on him for his idea. And plus, how many games has it been? Like 20-something games? Like, give it a bit more time. You know what I mean? They could turn it around. But still, Alonzo Ball is not good. You guys can go. So, um, I just think that... As a, I, as, I, a ball, as a Ball family defender, I just had to say, you know, put him... Put, um, I don't want to say put him in a better situation. What I would want to say, like, if you guys think that, like, people, uh, I'm not going to say think. It's true that his half-court playmaking isn't the best, right? Mm -hmm. So I say right now, like, you're supposed to develop young players, but he's not in a situation that where he can, like, take time to develop, obviously, because they want to win now because you have two, like, I don't want to say generational, but you have two top young talents. So obviously you want to push and win now, especially after going through the Anthony Davis situation. You know, you don't, don't you want you don't want to you don't want to just have these. I'm not gonna say win like championship now, but you know, win games. Like you don't want another eighty situation where like a couple years down the line they they probably have like one playoff appearance, and then mm-hmm. your your young stars are upset. So obviously, you know, you want to get fact. wins under your belt. These so, years are very important. You know, exactly, 
So, like, well, with Lonzo, you know, maybe you put him in a situation where he does get to play make more in a half court and get better at it. Besides, like, I would say, that's why I, say, I want him to go somewhere where it's not, I'm not going to say priority to win games. That's that's what I would say. Okay. Give me a team, then. Um, I was um, going to yeah, say. I haven't thought about it because most of the, most teams like that have point guards already. The Knicks. So. Uh, yeah, people people have brought the Knicks. <laughs> people have brought up uh, the Warriors and Clippers. No. I don't think the Clippers is really a, a great destination for them. It's not like it'd be a terrible fit, but I, I don't. I think there are other options because the Clippers are trying to win. Um, the Warriors, that that's not bad. The Warriors is not a bad option because okay. What'd you say? Yeah. I was gonna say he'd be like secondary playmaker to Steph, but that's Draymond's role. I don't so think. The thing is, what I got thing is you could use the thing is if you send him to Golden State. I'll say this, like, that's his last chance. Like, let's just be honest. Like, like that's your last shot. Like, we saw Wiggins get sent there, and we all knew, okay, this is Wiggins' last shot. Like, this is really – this is it. Like, if any culture can help you develop, it's got to be good. That's true, though. You yeah, know? that's true. That's true, though. So, like, um, for the sake of Lonzo's development combined with him, you know, uh, with the Warriors' goals, you know, it would be nice for him to be there. And if he develops well enough – Maybe you could use him in some lineups with Steph and Clay. Like that's the best situation for him. Let's just be honest. I don't. I don't. I don't agree. Well, I, their development staff. I'll give the words. Is the development staff is incredible. You know what I mean. Uh, they've done a lot. I guess they could use him in a Draymond role off the bench. It would make sense. Um, but uh, like I don't. Th- he needs to go to a place that's very low key because mentally speaking. I don't know what like that you is, saw, though. You, what is that? You, 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 you saw what L.A. did to him. You know what I mean? The Warriors are on TV constantly. You know what I mean? Same I mean, thing he's on the, TV, too. That's a, that's a fact. That's a, like, I think he need like, a place, hmm, low-key with his brother in Charlotte, that would be nice if they were willing to do that. I, I don't think so. And the but. thing is that people are considering with Lonzo being traded, Lonzo's on an expiring contract right now. He's going to be a restricted free agent next year. So yeah. I don't even know how high his value is. You know, that's why a lot of people are saying he's going to be packaged with, like, J.J. Redick. Because, like, what is his value alone? So not just considering the fact that he sucks, but just the fact that he he also has an expiring deal. So how much are you going to get back for him? So I don't know. I really I don't know where he can go at this point, to be honest. But mm, Golden like State is a solid situation, in my opinion. What What is, like, a low-key place for him besides, like, Charlotte? I don't even think Charlotte would really do that. Uh, Send him to Charlotte yeah. with Lamello. The Wolves? Oh, my gosh. You really want his career to be – I mean, it's already I, – I mean, they suck with development. Don't get me wrong. And I, I, I can leave it. Like, the Wolves have developed a soul in their careers, right? But – um, I think what he already has and what he's already good at could help the Wolves. You know what I mean? Um, not just that, but um, that's a low-key place as well. Um, nobody's okay, going to really... Uh, yeah, I, I thought about that. I don't think <laughs> I'll be able to survive. I don't want that, but it, it would be a nice situation. Yeah, he, brought, he brought it up at the beginning of the year. He was like, he was like you would take a chance on Lonzo. Your opinion Your opinion yeah. has changed? Ah. Uh, our development staff. I just don't want another point guard. That oh Dallas. Dallas needs another playmaker. They don't need another. They need somebody that can hit shots. Yeah, I was gonna say they need somebody to make that's shots. Also, that's like, also true. That's yeah, also true. so I don't know about. I don't know about that. Not long, bro. I'm telling you right now, Luca is getting doubled every possession that man <laughs> before, bro. Yeah, it's a fact. They're literally forcing Josh Richardson to to play make for them, and it's not gonna work, bro. Man, bro. Uh, Chicago, Chicago, or New York, probably the Knicks the best. No, the, we don't want them. We don't the Knicks, him. the Knicks, bro. Here's the thing: EP Knicks fans are already getting on EP, bro. Like, um, what makes you think they're gonna like Zoe, bro? Like, like, it, it, like the media it, will kill Lonzo. That's a they fact. will kill Lonzo, bro. They like, tear his ass up, bro. Oh man, bro. They don't no, nah, they don't need that, man. They do not need that. And like like you can here's the thing, like with Zoe, you can tell he's always around social media, you know, and all that. Like like you can tell like 
he's probably really rattled by a lot of these criticisms, you know? So going to a media infested city like New York, yeah, I don't know if that's a <laughs> a good idea, you know? Yep. So I don't know what he's going to do, honestly. I don't know what he's going to do. I really don't know. But let's just move on because Zoe doesn't deserve much, much more time than this. <laughs> All right. Non NBA player. This is a topic that I don't want to talk about too much. So this is what Go Bells want to talk about. Jace, Jace move, just, just take over. Bro, yeah. another isolation, bro. Clear out. So I just want to say this. Let me bro. get in the corner. Let me get in the corner. Let me get in the corner. Clay is so Speaking disrespectful, bro. He ain't have to do homie like that, bro. You know? Like, I mean, bro. Did, did, I okay, so uh, let me just let me just say the situation. So basically, after the game, the Pistons game, where the Pistons got absolutely murdered, right? Um, Rodney Magruder, I guess he was standing up for a teammate, something like that. That's what Draymond was saying, at least. And like Clay hopped on air and said, "Bro, he's just mad because he's gonna be out of the league soon, bro." And oh my gosh, yo. Draymond Green was getting on him, and now everybody is cooking him, bro. Like, I, they don't got to do that, man. They don't got to, yo, I, all I got to say is, I'm going to say this real quickly, bro. Rodney Magruder revenge season, bro. You guys have unlocked a new beast, and he's going to come back let's for be food. Honest. Are they wrong? Let, let's be honest. They're it, wrong, because Rodney Magruder is not going to be out the league next mm, year, bro. I, this is motivation. Dude, he sucks, man. You know that. This is motivation, bro. I hope Dude, he takes that motivation. Because I love seeing these stories right there when players come back, and I hope he makes Clay look silly. I mean, I, it would be funny to see, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Hey, bro, say hey, bro Rodney Magruder, if you're out there, bro, I'm rooting for you. I'm not. I'm rooting that's for you, That's all we got to say about Rodney Magruder? That's all I got to say, bro. That's also, Clay Thompson, close your lips. All right, let's just move on to the last topic. All star predictions. Let's just let's just make our predictions for the all star. Uh, there's not gonna be a. G- They're having discussions about having a game, but we're talking about just what it would, what the lineups would look like as of right now. Uh, let me actually give mine because uh, I voted today. Um, my all star. By the way, by the way, I'm really- talking about the whole roster, not just the starting lineup. Yeah, the West the West oh, already yeah. has ten locks, honestly. Oh, I would say shit. eleven. I, I've well, made mine. Do you guys want me to start it off? Uh here, I got mine. Let me just draw mine. Uh let's give our starters first and then we can give reserves. Yeah. All right. So uh, for the starters. Oh shit, my bad. Oh, you wanna go? Oh yeah. Let's start with East all like starters. All, all right. right so these are the East starters as of right now for me. At point guard, Malcolm Brogdon, J- Jalen Brown, KD, Giannis, Joel Embiid. Is that fair? Mm. Malcolm Brogdon. Mm. Yeah. As of right now, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. R- repeat your guards again? Malcolm Brogdon, Jalen Brown. Oh, okay. I was about to say, bro, no Jalen Brown? Oh, man. I, I, Malcolm Brogdon, I mean, he's been nice. I don't think he's starter material, though, you know. But I mean, I would I, I would start him over Kyrie and uh, um, Bradley Beal. Yeah, Bradley Beal. Yeah, right as of right now. Yeah. Oh come on, bro. Yeah, why not? Yo, he's averaging thirty five. And a losing on the worst <laughs> in the league. Ridiculous. But bro, okay, well, uh, well, here's here's my starting five for the East. Mine is uh, I got Levine. Harden. Whoa. Bro, this yeah, dude Dela sucks. I'm watching Levine. this game, sorry. But damn. Uh, Zach Zach Levine, James Harden, K D, Embiid, and Giannis. Levine is a starter? Dude, yes, bro. I do not have Levine. You're gonna be mad at when I reveal the rest. You already bro, said it, bro. Levine, if Levine is not on your all star team, your all star team is ridiculous, bro. Well, do you want me to finish it then? Dude. Don't Bro, we got. Let's shit. finish the East. Let's finish the East. Yeah, okay, okay you so guys, mine, you guys who? Levine is. I, I Levine's had a, an amazing season. I'm gonna give you that, bro. Like he's had an amazing season. But ah, yo, nah, I don't know, man. Uh, okay, let's go, so let's go, let's go. okay, so my starters for the East: Bradley Beal, Jalen Brown from downtown. You know what I mean? Um, Kevin Durant, Giannis, 
That was corny as hell. You're not. Yo, <laughs> yo in, in Beast, yo. Joel Embiid. I love Embiid, bro. He's, Embiid is like, he's been so good this year, so dominant. And, um, oh my God. His MVP post from under, not even close. His M, yo, his post footwork and everything is just beautiful to watch, yo. Is he finally living up to that Hakeem stuff? Hey, hey, bro, hey, bro. I was, yo, he already lived up to Hakeem. I mean, hey, bro, listen to this. Hakeem didn't have his playoff success when he first came into the league, yo. He hey, yo, was a first round honest, exit sorry, machine. For the East. Yeah, hey, the, the starters the starters is just the fan vote, right? No, no, just, just get, like, Think of what you think. No, of. I'm just saying. If I'm, if I'm being, if I'm being realistic, it's probably gonna be Kyrie Harden, KD. <laughs> um, yeah, Kyrie Harden. Harden. But if I'm, if I'm voting, if I'm voting, instead of putting Kyrie, no, no, I want you no, um, just put KD. your, just put your unbiased like. I'm putting, I'm putting Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown instead of Kyrie. I'm not gonna Jaylen lie. Brown, I kind of put Jaylen Harden started. just because I think Harden is one of those shoe ins for every year starters exactly exactly that's just kind bro. of what i did for jalen brown he... jalen brown harden kd on this nb okay so you said jb harden kd Giannis, nb is that what you said yes sir okay yes sir all right let's go going to on to the reserves now this is what i have bradley beal james harden sabonis chris milton jason tatum and um the wild cards i think are Kyrie and nikola vucevic so, Ooh, no, this so, is gonna be tough. so no Zach Levine. Because I think Levine, I, I think Levine. Levine has to be in there. Bro. Levine definitely Bro, I'm not gonna lie, Darius. Know, you're fucking smelly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you think. I mean, I mean Levine would definitely be my next uh pick though, if uh one of these guys are injured. Yeah, okay, like I think I, said, I think it's smelly. it's for sure gonna be between Whoa, 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 whoa. Sure between Did Levine you say Tatum? Vooch. Yeah, I said Tatum. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I have yeah, to breathe for a second. Yeah. The bonus, heal, Tatum. Oh, there's seven reserves, right? Uh, yes, there is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So bonus, Beal, Tatum. Um, where well, I gotta think. I'm doing this off the dome. I throw Levine in there. Um, I want to get Tobias Harris love, bro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> uh, athletic Carmelo Anthony. Chris Middleton. Yo, you put Brogdon. Oh, God. Yo, some of, there's going to be some snubs in the East, bro. In the West, too, obviously. I didn't that put my boy in there, bro. It was tough, but hey, I won't mind if he bro, made it. Like, <laughs> straight, straight for sure. I don't even know. That, oh. He is, bro. He's not, he's, yo, well, he's, I'm not going to lie. Okay, first of all, he's going to get a lot of fan votes. Let's not forget that last year, he was only a starter because of fan Oh, my gosh. So, that. Trey's okay, well, well Trey, mine, Trey's gonna get a lot of fan votes. Well, mine. Okay, let me wait. Will you finish, Bino? Yeah, honestly, I, I couldn't. I couldn't even decide right now because I didn't make a list. I'm the other top of the. Yeah, I'm. I'm my west. Going my west, on my west one. Head. I already. My west one. I have like solidified. Okay, well, my uh, reserves for the two guards. I'm gonna go uh, Beal and Kyrie for the forward for the front court players. I'm gonna go Sabonis, Tatum, and Dane. JB is a guard, right? Yeah. No okay, way but... he's gonna get snubbed. No, he's not gonna get snubbed. So he's gonna be a one yeah. of my reserves then. Um, but for the forwards, uh, I said Sabonis, Tatum. Man, I cannot think of somebody right now. I'm, I feel like I'm snubbing somebody for a, a front court player. Um. Damn, I cannot think of some who. So wait, you, wait, have you said uh, Sabonis, Chris Middleton, Tatum? What, a, what about? Oh yeah, Chris Middleton, <laughs> Chris Middleton, Chris Middleton, uh, Chris Middleton, and then for the reserves, uh, I can go Vucevic and uh, who did I say? Jalen Brown. Yeah, Jalen Jalen Brown. So there you go. Okay. Right, okay. Well. Um, my reserves. Wait, are... did you wait? Did you have no Harden on yours, or am I tripping? No, no you had Harden as a starter. Lineup. Oh, okay. I could have sworn he said Kyrie and Bill were the starters, bro. <laughs> no, those are my uh, guards. My two guards for the that's rest my, of the yeah, my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. Okay, so mine are... So I have Harden as a starter. No, not, not a starter, but a, a reserve guard. And then Levine is my other reserve guard. And then my uh, my forwards are Chris Tatum and Sabona. Right? And then my two reserves are... 
Dude, my on, my man. two reserves are Brogdon and, and, and Vooch. I was thinking about Drummond, bro, because Drummond, Drummond legit has a case, bro. I mean, offensively, he hasn't been the best, but defensively, he's been so impactful to that team, man. And uh, also, Colin Sexton as well, bro. I would love to see him in there, but I have to, if I'm being unbiased and realistic, I can't. I cannot. Yeah, like those he, guys. sometimes, sometimes you gotta move that stuff out the way, you know. Like he, Jeremy Grant, bro. Like I'd love to give him some love, but he's been on the loser Pistons, who can only beat good teams for some reason. Yeah, I feel like if you if you put Grant in there, you gotta put Sexton in there at that point. Yeah, I mean, no, Sexton's not on a losing team. No, I know. That's why. No, I no, said no, that's why he said that. Put, oh, yeah. okay. So like, that's why like. You can't really put Grant. I'm sorry. As good as he's been this year, and it's it's not even really empty stats because he's been efficient, you know, but people are going to just chalk it up to that, unfortunately. I hate to say that. I mean, he but, is on his own team, so. Yeah, I know. I know. So, like, that yeah. even helps that their case. That is going to say but numbers. Blake Griffin is washed also, so, yeah. <laughs> Blake, is, Blake is terrible. Blake is terrible. Washed. You know, I'm sorry. It's sad. So sad. I don't, I don't like seeing players go down out like this, bro, especially athletic players. And people say this is what happened when you never had skill. Blake did gain skill in the beginning of his career. Yeah, he, he did. He gained ability what? To, in the beginning? Yeah, that's it in the end, like, oh, near the yeah, end, like before he, before he fell but off. But I like, will say one skill that he should have developed by now was a post game. He still he has no yeah, post. Yeah, he did have a post game. Come on, man. Dude, what? Yes, he, he did, no bro. He had no post moves, Yo, bro. Just, because, just because you don't got a fade away doesn't mean you have you have no post moves, Dude, bro. Dude, what post moves does he have? Bro, he got that drop step. He got a shimmy on him. Shut up. No, he doesn't, bro. I don't want to hear that shit. Blake does not have post moves. And I remember, yeah. like, I remember so, like, all vividly people saying Blake doesn't have a post game back then. And it's been over a decade, and he still doesn't have a post game. And it's, and it's funny to me because, like, I remember Charles Barkley saying, "Oh, one day your athleticism is going to be gone. You got to rely on skill." Blake has hit that point, and he has literally no type of post moves he can use to his repertoire at all. Yo, he he be, he be he be bullying them and faking them, bro. Be faking oh, it, please. Hey, right, shout, out, shout out Jamie Grant. Let me Yo, let me give Jamie Grant. Let's get to the uh, let's get to the West Stars now. Yes, sir. All right, I'll start it off. So, um, I think this is pretty easy, and hopefully everyone has the same thing. All right, so I have uh, starting Steph Curry, Davin Mitchell, LeGoat James, no, it's like LeBron James, uh, Kawhi Leonard, uh, Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic. Negrola Jokic. All right, everyone does not have the same thing. What did you have? Steph, Dame, Kawhi, LeBron, and Jokic. I, yeah, I, that's what I got too for my starting line. I, I just think the since the Jazz are so good right now, like I have to. I can understand D Mitch, but you know, I'd say I'd say I'd give him two reserves. I give him two reserves, but uh, what's it called? I actually, I actually didn't have Steph in my starting lineup. I still had Fluka. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I still have Fluka. Goodness. It was Damon Fluka for me. Dude, all right, oh fix, all right now fix it. God. Fix it. Go ahead, fix it. Go ahead. Yeah, look, bro, fix it while you're here, bro. Go ahead, fix why it. do you consistently do this stuff, man? Stop it, man. Come on. You know you're you're bullshitting right now, bro. Stop it. Right now, look, right I now, mean, Steph's team has a better record and he's putting up gray stats. So like what what, what is your reasoning for even having Luca right now? Well, I just voted Luca because first off, I don't think the you're team is gonna be hater. I don't think I don't think the team's say, gonna be this bad. I, 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 yo, yo, this, I'm not even hating on Steph, yo. And also, Dame has had a better uh, season than um, Steph, so that's has he? Thing. Has he? Yes, he has. Yes, he has. I don't know better dude, that. No, he hasn't, bro. Yes, he has. Look up the numbers, dude. Don't just look at the numbers. Look at who he's playing with. Oh, who, who uh, okay, that's, that's not. That's not. That's not. He's been dealing reason. with injuries this yeah, entire season. Yeah, Dame. Both of them have had. Dude, have had injuries, Dame is but. look. I know that. I know that. But Dame still has a better roster than him, bro. For most of the season, yeah, I mean, yeah, a but roster, bro. Dame. Okay, Dame's yeah. numbers are Actually, not that like. That, bro. Dame's numbers are not like. And not only that, They're... but for most of the year, he had C.J. McCollum, bro, who was outplaying how, how him, games, by the how, way. How many, how many games did he have C.J. McCollum? C.J. played 13 oh, like games good 10? so far. At least, at least, yeah, good, at least 10, bro. He's played 13 games so far. Don't care, bro. He still had a better season. Oh, than my goodness, man. What? Bro, it's true. It's true. Yes, yes. Okay. In my opinion, I still have no reason. He's putting... Okay, but you still have no reason to ask Luke over Steph. 
The well, Warriors have a better record than the Blazers. Well, had they have more wins than the Blazers, and I Steph, believe Steph, and Dame is not significantly like his stats are not even like that much better than. So uh, Curry. I mean, the, the, wait, 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 wait. The Blazers, the Blazers uh, won another game, didn't they? Did they? they is it right they, now? They, they they have a higher they have a better win percentage than the Warriors do. do they, like they have they play less games. Like, I mean, like they. Sh- we're talking about as of right now, like as of as of right now, they have a better win percentage. I'm talking about wins, all right, though. but okay. they both they both they both yeah. lost two games. They they, they both lost. Bro, that's, two more that games should not be won. the argument right now, bro. The argument should be him having Luca over Steph. That's what that's um, the argument. Um, be. All right, fine. Yeah, well, let's talk about that. I, I, I believe I believe Luca has been going off uh, enough. Uh, to the point where he deserves it over Steph, but it's 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 not yeah, like it's to, it's, the, to the point where they're eight and twelve. I mean, it's not his fault. <laughs> it's hey, not bro, his five, fault. Five, it's five not all of his losing fault. Streak. It's not all of his fault. Five say, it's game not losing. Streak. That's not what I've been hearing about you with Steph Curry in like this these first few games. <laughs> That's what I'm yep. saying, bro. Yep. That sounds you want to say that at this yeah. point? Hey, hey, yeah, bro, you're saying that. You were saying that about Kelly Oubre. Hey, you were saying that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. He's okay, a hypocrite, bro. He's a hypocrite. Jesus bro. Christ, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you got caught up, bro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, who, who's, who's who still, who still has to do the starters? Yo, yo my nigga Nick to my chin, yo. Yo, yo. I am out cold. There, there is, it's just you. It's just you, Darius. I already, oh, no, no, it's just um, Young Master. Yeah, it's yeah, just, it's just Young Master. No, I did, oh, my starters is the same as uh, Bino's. LeBron, yeah. Jokic, Kawhi, Dame, or... Yes, sir. Okay, so I'll do my I reserves like that now. Be under, I feel like that should be a like a unanimous, but I, I guess we, we don't uh, agree on that. Dimish. Uh, all right. Uh, reserves. I have Dame, Luca, AD, PG, uh, Riddy fucking Gobert, and the what? Uh, the uh, the last two are uh, Demar Derozan and Shea Gilgeous Alexander. What? What? Wow. What? Yeah. Wow. Those are the actually what? Yeah. Counted in the, the fucking Christ- foul. The Christian Wood disrespect. Wood. Yeah, wood, I don't know about yo. that one, yo. I don't know. I'm not about gonna that. lie, bro. Wood Wood has been real nice, bro. Wood Wood deserves it. Yo, yo, Christian Wood. By the way, not by the way, the me. fact that Cat and is I missing. think one, and I think one of Zion or Brandon Ingram has to make it. I don't know. By the bro. way, by I don't way, know, I man. Say, I just want to say, even though it might be due to injury, the fact that Cat is missing another All Star appearance is just sad, bro. That is just Yo, so Cat sad. needs. Yeah, to like, at the end of his at the end of his career, <laughs> yeah. bro. We all know that he was he's an All NBA talent, bro. That's just not gonna have the accolades. Exactly, bro. It's sad, bro. Unless he's gonna he be KG it, so KG bad. before KG without the MVP before the uh, what's it called before the the Celtics. Real quick, the Timberwolves they stink. Jesus Christ, bro! Like I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this, man. Like they're they just sit here, bro. They are the best talent wasters in NBA history. <laughs> like I've never seen a team so good at wasting talent like the Wolves are, bro. Like I've never seen a team. It's bro. in their DNA, bro. All right, I'm, hey, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my reserves. I need right. a culture change uh, immediately. Mine Just relocate, bro. D, D Mitch, Luca Donakick, Paul George, <laughs> Anthony Davis, oh, <laughs> Rudy Gobert. Then my last two is going to be Ja Morant and Christian Wood. Ja? Well, I think, well, I guess if we're going based off right now, but I think by the time we get there, Ja's been injured, hasn't he? Deserved. Yeah, so we can so we can do that. By so the we time, can do that, right? By the time we get there, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. I'm talking about because that's that's what I base my Luka shit off of. That's what I base my Luka shit off of. No, you can even then they won't be they won't be better than the Warriors, bro. You don't know that, man. And the thing about Josh, Josh since he's been back has been kind of like. Then I'm gonna put my boy. I'm gonna put my boy Shea in there instead of my nigga Shilagus Alexander. Okay. Okay. Yo, we we basically got the same list, yo. Cause I got Mitch, Luca, PG, AD, Rudy Gobert. I got my dude Wood and Shea, right? Yeah. But I'll say this: I'm kind of disappointed in the Phoenix Suns. 
Um, the the reason yeah, the, the fact, fact that they don't have any they're gonna have a good record and no all stars. Yeah, that's weird, bro. Because it's just like yo, like Mitch has been mid, not Mitch, but uh, Book has been mid. He's been hurt and recently. Injured. Yep. He's been, yeah, yeah, he's been hurt recently. Diaz has not been as good as you thought him out to be. <laughs> yeah, bro. I thought he'd be a top. He'd elevate himself this year. He still has time to do it. Hey, hey what happened to games. your 60 win sons? Yo, I, they still got a chance. It's still it's possible. They're going to go on a 20 game a win streak. 60 win a 60 team. game win streak. Yeah, bro. Yo. You were wilding on that, bro. Hey, bro. They can still go on a win streak. Don't Dude, act that's like not they can't. They, that's it's not happening. not happening, bro. It's not happening. It's very possible. <laughs> Just let it go. Bro. Your prediction was wrong, man. <laughs> bro, I'll, 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 yo, I'll stick to my guns, bro. I don't give up. I don't give up that easily. <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll stick to that, though. Um, but, um, yeah. That, but uh, yeah, they're not gonna have any All Stars. CP3 has not been in. I wouldn't say he's an All Star. D book <laughs> injured, and he's been mid. DeAndre CP3 has been eating this year though. He's been eating. He, he's been eating recently. I recently, I, can, I, I would say like the past three mm-hmm. games. Yeah, I'll give yeah. But no. the past but, four games. Was that the? Was that the Thunder game? Yeah, he he, he killed us. But uh, we still. All right, won. but uh, let me give my reserves. Um. Uh. Two. Uh. Damn. Okay, for I have Anthony Davis as a forward. Um, for another forward, I will go. Uh, give me a second. Let me pull up my list. So I just wrote this whole down. But I would go Anthony Davis for one forward. Um, yeah. Kawhi Leonard or no Paul George for one of the guard spots. Um. He's been having low key a, a very underrated season, but you know nobody really cares because he sucks. Uh, I mean, he does. Oh and Donovan God. Mitchell for another guard spot. Uh, that's two guards already, so that that's a check. Uh, CJ McCollum. I kind of want to give him he's some in love, though, but he's not gonna make it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's the only reason why I didn't have him there. But yeah, that's the reason why I didn't have him either. <sighs> Damn, I gotta take him off. Okay, well, I guess he's removed from the reserve spot. Um, I guess I could put DeRozan in that uh, one reserve spot. Yeah, that's what I'm um, saying. Debo, yeah, shout out to Debo. DeRozan's been great. Uh, yeah, shout out to DeRozan. He's y'all been said, y'all thought You're it was crazy for me to have him. You know what? Need... I didn't think it was crazy. Why, why, why are y'all like, oh, wow. like, <laughs> like? No, I Shay. You said Shay, and I was shocked. Oh. Uh, but <laughs> I'm going to go uh, Christian Wood. That's two forwards right there. Actually, is the Rosen playing uh, the three or the two? He's been like three. I, I guess both. Doesn't both? really matter. Cause, oh, cause no, 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 I, no, 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 no you want to talk about um, it, though? DeRozan has actually been one of the better passers. Oh, I just, He's on, like I just looked at. Uh, I just looked on Basso reference. He is a power forward. Okay. What did I say? <laughs> I told yo, you niggas were clowning me, yo. I was. I said he could go to a team and play power forward. He's not that. He, he, he's he's a big dude. Dude, he's only playing power forward out of necessity, not because it's not out of necessity. Long. It's not out of necessity. Dude, so they can easily go big. Hey, sure. Um, I also. Uh, I can't really think of any front court players. If y'all can just throw somebody, because uh, I feel like I've named all the front court worthy players. I said Christian Wood. Um, who else? That's Anthony Davis. Did and, you say uh, Rudy Gobert? Dude, I'm not putting Rudy Gobert. What? That's so disrespectful. Bro, don't, don't snub him. Don't snub him. Yo. Don't snub him. Don't on. snub him, bro. D poor candidate. Him. You know, I don't MVP want him to cry. Impact. So, yeah, I'll go Rudy Gobert. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, for the reserves, I said DeMar DeRozan already, and uh, I guess I got those Shea in there. My mom called Shea. me. She said I wasn't an all-star. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, so well, we I guess, I guess if you didn't want to put Gobert, you could have put an Ingram or Zion. Oh, yeah. Nah, Ingram. bro. They're, Ingram. Bro, y- y- y'all want to talk dude, about the losing, The Pelicans bro. are losing, so I don't know. They're the second worst team in the West, so I don't think that's... Yeah, I don't think... They yeah. probably won't turn it around, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, they got Lonzo go Ball there. on the team. Lonzo Ball is, yo, he's oh, sure, you're oh, destined brother. to lose. Your I mean, you know you're destined Just to lose. You have Lonzo. 
football. That's they're a two fact. games away from they're two games off of being a playing team. Just saying. So I don't. Yeah, think, and like, like at this I point, said, don't matter still too much. to lose. I mean, that's true. Yo, I'll, I'll um I'll say this. I just want to give a shout out to Debo, bro. He's like been one of the best passers in the league, yo, this year. People don't yeah. really talk about that. Yeah, he has. He's a, he's having nah, like he seven. Nah, he got a, not, he got a he got a shout out. Um, people were talking about how he's turning into a great passer later in his career. Yeah, bro. Like he's he's he's, he's developing in that. Like I think a lot of that is pop, though. He's he's no, it's not. He like he. he it's just him making yes, better he reads. Is, it's literally just like him I making said, better reads. Pop, like you watch him du- when he was in Toronto. When he get, he froze when he got doubled, bro. And yes, can can a player learn how to make better reads, bro? And don't you think a lot of that pop pops helped him? Yes, he's helped him. Okay, that's what I said. But 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 you're saying you're, you're saying that like as soon as he le- if he leaves the Spurs, bro, he won't know how to make bro, it ever bro, again. Bro, but that's not what I said. What I said I mean that's what that it sounds like saying. Improvement is because of pop. You didn't say that, but okay. Yeah. Dude, stop it. Dude, I get it. You're like, <laughs> chill out. I love Debo, bro. Yo, he's my homie. But, um. Y'all chill I, and smoke together or something? Bro, nah. What? Uh, it's a call, yo. Chill, it, y'all go to the bars? <laughs> yo, I'm not even in. <laughs> bro, why did you yeah. just do an OSN laugh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro. He be. <laughs> yo. Yeah, I don't even know how to do that shit, bro. But, um. Before we hop out, I'm going to do something with y'all quick. Um, stat game, just real quick, real quick. All right. Okay, so basically, it's it it's it's just a guess who guess the top five, whatever. I guess top five power ranking. Um, uh, like I, I just want to say this, bro. There's probably a couple other podcasts that have done this. To the wire. Um, say it. <laughs> I I don't want to get in trouble in trouble for stealing shit. So I I just want to say, you know, like, sorry if I stole your your your, your stuff and I didn't know. Basically, I'm just gonna pull out top five things, and you basically guess it, right? So, this is this is from NBA.com. Points for possession, shit, whatever. Okay, you guys, no cheating. Okay. Okay. So, guess right now the top five isolation players. Hmm. Kyrie Slurving. Kyrie is number one at one point four four points per one hundred possession. Uh, I've seen this stat before, so I, I might get these right. I don't think Harden's in there anymore, is he? Or he's not. He's not top five. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Kevin. Du- Kevin Durant is number five. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal is number two. I know. Now these oh, these no, next two because Steph uh, Curry. No, Steph is not there. Nah, you know that boy not ice on nobody. Come on now. <laughs> Boy, he said, yo. <laughs> I'm, just high, I'm just thinking of high usage. I don't know. He said, I'm trying to say. I well, need Steph, the illegal Steph screen. Is, the thing is, Steph is playing off ball a lot. But the thing, like, late in games, he's isoing a lot more, bro. That's true. But I, I don't know. Goodness, the Wizards are awful. What the, the, the Oh, my God. Okay, okay. The next two, the next two are, are going like, to be shockers? surprising to you. So the next two are going to be kind of surprising to you. Okay? Yeah, they're going to be Tatum? shockers. Is Tatum there? Nope. Tatum is not there. Okay, I don't know. Are they awesome? Is Luca? What about Luca? Luca? Nope. Wow. Okay. Are, they, are they all-star players? One of them is an all-star caliber player. The other one isn't. Nice. Hmm. Okay. Jordan Clark. No. <laughs> I actually don't. I can't think of... I can't think of anybody to be honest. Okay, okay, I'm, 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 I'm gonna give, give you, hint. I'm gonna yeah. give you a hint. Okay, so it's this, not LeBron. This, is it? this dude, th- no, this dude's team has been dealing with a lot of, um, you know, of uh, a, a virus stuff, right? I can think of the Wizards. When I hear that. Uh, nope, he's not in the Wizards. John Moran. But it, it it is a team in the East that is dealing with a lot, that's been dealing with a lot of virus stuff. Jalen Brown. No. Uh, Joel? No. I'm, I'm it's not really sick. trying to. No. Think not. think bottom of the East, yo. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Grant? No. Oh. Virus and bottom Hold of on. the East. Let me, let me. This is not cheating. I'm looking it at the NBA teams. It better not be Siakam, bro. It's not Westbrook. Nope. It's not Westbrook, is it? You, you, yo, think of Virus. What team has been dealing with Oh, the oh, oh, the Heat. The Heat. The heat. Uh, now. No way. Is it, it's is Bam? It, yes. It's Bam. Bam? 
Yes. Oh, he I has. Know. Hey, bro, man popped in my head when he said virus, but I was like, man, not really ISO, and is he? <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's, he actually be he actually be doing it. He two point. I, I the 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 where I put it. Um, what's it called? So it was two point. Uh, two possessions or more, right? Like th- that's basically what I put it at, and he was up there. Now you got one more. All right. Uh, yeah, can you give us a hint with the conference? And he said, and he said, this player is an all star caliber. Is it? Th- this one? This one is an all star caliber. Is in he's in he's in the West with one isn't, of isn't. He's in the West. To your okay, um, CJ. No, I can't think of who. It's not. Just think of an eye sewing. Just I think of an eye sewing role player, bro. Is it John Wall? No. Oh, brother, I don't know. (laughs) Fox. No. No, it's not. It's not T Fox. No. Um. Uh, he plays with somebody that has MVP impact. Um, I th- <laughs> Andrew Wiggins. <laughs> yes. Uh, Wiggins. That actually makes sense. Yeah, no, that, I, yeah, I have. Yeah, that yeah, is he, true. That is true. Wiggins is uh, a. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now guess the bottom five. Okay. The bottom five. Russell you Westbrook. you already gave you you already you already guessed you already guessed one of them earlier. Steph. Russell, no, not Russell Steph. Westbrook. Yes, Russell Westbrook is there. <laughs> Point six, but, but that wasn't the one that nah, he that's guessed. That's pretty. He, he he's the second worst. Jalen Brown. That's kind of shocking. Jalen Brown. No, but it is it, it's Bro, somebody that. See how fish me? So he's scoring. Like, come on. Now. I don't know. I'm just thinking. It's my head. Yo, Kemba Walker. It, it, it's it's that not Jalen Brown, but it's another wing that you mentioned earlier on that team. J- oh, Tatum. Tatum. Yes. Damn. That's tough. That's tough, yeah. Because <laughs> he was he was ice throwing them Lakers up the other night. I was cooking them. That's shocking. I didn't see that coming. So it's Westbrook, Tatum. Westbrook is the second worst. Tatum is the third worst. Mm. Dang, who's the worst? Uh, is Jeremy Grant up there? No. Yo, it was somebody that I was a- getting angry at there when we were watching one of the games. Who the mm. bro? Westbrook Jay Crowder? <laughs> no, not Jay Crowder. Not Jay Crowder. <laughs> That's just what I thought of when you said is it you're D- getting mad no, at somebody. Well, well, no, no, wait. What did you say? I was gonna say D book, but uh, oh yeah, yep, D book is there. Wow. Okay. Bottom five. He, he he's he's the uh, what's it called? The fifth worst out of uh <laughs> tough the, out of out of all of them. Very very tough. <laughs> uh, Jamal Murray. <laughs> no. Uh, bro, West, Westbrook called Bruce Brown too small and got a tech, bro. This is <laughs> yeah. soft, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe it's just because Westbrook sucks. Yo, yeah, yeah, Darius, 30. it was somebody yeah, I was he getting real right mad now. at because okay. he was chucking shots, yo. We, we were watching a game. Hey, hey, I who, forgot. Who, who, give us a hint, bro. Give us a hint. We, we watched a lot of games. He was, in, he, was in a, he was in a big trade this season. Uh during the season? Oh, Oladipo? Yes. Oh he's my gosh. <laughs> wow, Oladipo's the worst? Yes, he's the worst. Yeah. Oh my god. One man. more, one more. Give us a hint for the last one. Bro. Okay, the last one, extremely successful team. Right now or in general? In the, right now. Probably on the Lakers. Embiid? No. no. Nah, that's not going to be Embiid. Uh, ben Simmons. I swear, <laughs> no. You're gonna be surprised when you see when you hear this one. Kawhi? No. Okay. It's not PG. Can't be PG. No. Uh, Donovan Mitchell. Yes. D- wow. Mitch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. D- Mitch hate is the f- <laughs> what? You hate D Mitch. <laughs> it's because he, he, he's just he's just mad we put bug, bro. Below him, bro. <laughs> bro. Yo, them, bro. That's not it. Those uh, those D- are the basic and all the worst. Just because we have just because we think D Mitch is better. <laughs> not a good reason to hate somebody. No, I don't hate him. I like, Jeremy, watch, I like watching him play, but you know. surprisingly, Jimmy Grant's been one of the better isolation players in this league. Hell yeah! Wow, bro, I seen it, bro. That 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 in and out heavy he has is lethal, bro. Yes, lethal, <laughs> he's been doing this bro. since OKC days, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, no, he's been heavy in and out. Watch, he's gonna get exposed like Siakam. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bro, he he does yo, he does an in and out heavy into a long stride euro step like Giannis. Mm-hmm. Not gonna lie, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy Grant is who Pascal Siakam should be. Not gonna lie, bro. No, bro, if cap. we go back in time, bro. Yo, Gabels was always saying Jeremy this, Grant, <laughs> Jeremy Grant is better than Pascal Siakam. Yo, he I was, was saying, always I was like, saying well, that. he's better than Pascal Siakam. He's just not being even when Jeremy Grant was a role player. He was saying no, no, no. In OKC though, I was literally going, bro. If you go back to my old videos, I was literally saying, bro, Russ has Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant's not bad. He could, he could be good if they just let him. But were you saying he was better than Pascal Siakam at the time? I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know about that, but (laughs) (laughs) don't use hindsight. I have a third eye, man. This I mean, Siakam was tricking us. Siakam was tricking us. So, hey, bro, he used to, hey, bro. I don't think y'all remember, bro. Giannis used to have the same spin, man. Giannis, Giannis, yo, Kyrie, yo. Kyrie just got locked up by Mo. Siakam's Lager, not going to become Giannis. <laughs> yo, I remember, yo, yo, Siakam had the same. Hey, if Siakam put on spin. weight, you never know. Mm, no, no, no. He's not, not gonna he's happen. He's though. not because yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, the, the Bucks be struggling. I'm just saying, bro. Our yo, this defense is so bad, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. All right, y'all boys. Let's let's wrap this thing up, man. Yeah, let's wrap it up yeah. like a condom. Bro, did he just sit on KD's head? What's going on with the Wizards game anyway? What's going on? It's, it's uh, a close game. Westbrook right. is literally eating them alive. He has All 31 right. points. Nice, nice. All right, let's wrap he, it up. He was, he was listening to the pod, bro. Made a game. Well, yeah, uh, he was listening. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he got an AirPod in, bro. <laughs> well, let, uh, that, 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 concludes, shit, that concludes this episode. Um, make sure y'all drop a like on the YouTube video. Give us a nice rating on all, all of our audio platforms. Night, leave a nice little comment. You know what I'm saying? Follow us on social media. The links are in the description. Uh. Yeah, that concludes episode 18. Y'all got anything to say? Um, mm-hmm. let's say yeah, if quick. you made it to this part of the episode, we want you to comment smooth is a curry hater. That's oh my god, yo, I <laughs> not not hate curry, we caught bro, this bro. man legit dry hating just now, bro. We <laughs> yo, in 4K, bro. <laughs> but y'all need to let me explain my point. But okay. we don't want to hear your explanation. I let me say something before I end the show. Hey Darius, um, ending right say, when I said we don't want to hear your no, 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 <laughs> bro. I'm not even explaining the Steph Curry shit. I just want to say, shit, bro. I just want to say, no, shout out to no! Marvin Bagley. Shout out to Marvin Shut Bagley, bro. Up! That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You're That's not gonna say. Marvin Bagley's a player, but we out, we out, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs>